video of my, I, oh, I thought that was a um, spider web. And I was like, ooh, I probably won't be revealing anything on today. Um, but today is going to be my balcony, my small balcony tour. It's really not a tour. And also, I don't think I, when I first started filming about this, I don't think I did an intro. So, <laughs> that's what this is. So I will probably go ahead and insert the footage that I've been documenting for the past month. And honestly, I'm just so thankful that it didn't really take me as long as I thought. You guys have no idea. Like, I was looking for, I don't even know how to begin this. So long story short is when I moved into my apartment, I, I literally moved in with a dollar and a drink. She was broke, five broke, we ain't got it. And I didn't expect to get my balcony done as soon as I did. Like tomorrow is gonna be July 1st and hopefully this video, why can't I English? Hopefully this video will be up either tonight or tomorrow. But I have something fun happening tomorrow, so. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yeah, I just, I'm really thankful because I wasn't expecting to get my balcony done as soon as I did because like I said, you know, when I first moved into my apartment, that's when COVID was, doing her thing, like it's literally when COVID got crazy is when I moved into my apartment. So for me being able to furnish anything, like I'm just really thankful to God that I'm able to, that I was able to do it so fast, like before July, which is what my goal was. And also you guys gotta keep in mind, and I'll probably talk about this in the clips that you're about to see, but like Ikea was playing games, okay? Like I knew, I knew back in April that I wanted my balcony done. Yeah, I knew back in April that I wanted my balcony done because quarantine, COVID didn't look like it was slowing down, so it's just kind of like, I have to make my, and I say this in one of the clips, I, I literally say I have to make this my outdoor sanctuary. And uh, I think I achieved that, I think it's really cute. Um, it's kind of Bali inspired, but unintentional, but I love it because crazy enough, back in December when I thought life was gonna be like, I don't know, normal, um, I was planning to go to Bali for my 30th birthday, so that never happened, but I got an apartment, and with that apartment comes a very cute balcony, and I don't wanna waste any more of your time. Let me show you the clips of how we got to the final product, so yay. Also, if I don't say it at the end, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's jump into the footage. All right, guys, so this is phase two of Deidre's Outdoor Oasis, and I have two new additions here. Obviously, I'm taking it room by room. Living room is still empty, you can hear the echoes. I've been really focusing on my balcony, and as a matter of fact, and if I didn't tell you guys the date, today is 5-29, if I can get this open. <laughs> yeah, it's May 29, and I wanna show you the latest additions, well, the latest addition to my balcony. Um, temporary chair. But I got these lights, which are done a little tackily, like I have regular tape on them. Um, they're just, what is this, double A batteries, triple A batteries? I, can't, I don't know, the, the bigger ones. Um, these are lights that I got off of Amazon, and I got, actually they came with two. And like I just showed you, they're battery operated. So um, for me, it was necessary. If you have a balcony like me where I don't have any outlets, like there's no outlet up there, there's no outlets down here. Um, here's what the ground looks like so far. Um, yeah, if you have a balcony that just so happens to not have any outlets outside, um, that's why, oh God, it was such a struggle because I needed something that I can use that was either solar or battery operated. So I like the fact that I can at least change these batteries out. But I am on the hunt for some solar um, string lights because these are cute, but they're more fairy lights. And I wanted like the bigger ones that have like the little circles. I'm sure by the end of this video, when it all comes together, you'll see the, the entire um, vision. But today I actually got my rugs that I got from overstock.com and we're gonna unpack these and check them out. You guys see me? So 2020 balcony um, for any renovation, like getting furniture and all of that stuff has been incredibly difficult because stores aren't open. As you guys know, I can't go and shop for anything in person and high key, a lot of the stuff that's affordable, stuff in my price range, won't even be mailed or shipped out until like the end of July. And in my mind, I'm like, well, summer's dang near over by that point. So it's just been a little bit frustrating. Just like Ikea, don't even get me started on how hard it was to get anything ordered off of Ikea because that was like dang near impossible. 
Um, yeah, and they were, the stuff was like sold out. One thing I hate is when stuff is sold out, but you still have it on your website as if I can add it to my cart. And then when I get to my cart, you're like, oh, you can't get it. Take it off your website. I will say that 2020 has just been such a really interesting year for someone moving into their first ever apartment. Um, I've experienced some really crazy nuances that we all have been going through, but like for me, it's like, try, try furnishing your very first apartment in the middle of a pandemic. You try it. <laughs> Just, you tell me how it goes. It's been, it's been, it's been pretty crazy, but you know, God is still good. I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting everything that I need. And, and honestly, I can't wait to do like a full apartment tour and that'll probably come maybe at the end of this year. It's actually gonna come probably sooner than I even thought, which is what's so crazy. Like I said, I'll be working on my behalf and I don't even be understanding why, but I'm not gonna argue with that. Not only does this look like corn in the pile, but it smells like it too. It's so weird. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. <gasps> Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so now all I have to do is open up the second one and then we can just put these outside. Oh, this is coming together so nicely. First of all, they're really soft on my feet. I love that. They're really soft, so it's much better than like standing on the actual wood. Yes, I like it. Now I'm gonna play around with it because obviously I don't have any of my furniture yet. So this is all gonna be moved a little bit. Like this one, I feel like I'm gonna shift over a little bit like yeah so I can work with this but ooh, I love how it feels under my foot okay all right so the next clips you'll probably see are gonna be from a completely different day and hopefully it'll be some seating for that for this corner hopefully it can be some seating but here's the vision here's the vision seating over here maybe like a cute little table situation maybe some plants up in here and maybe do like some flowers along the way. I don't know if I wanna do something on that wall, but I guess during this video, we'll see what happens. I, I, I'm, I guess, you know, I'm, I can't predict the future, but editing surely can. It is June 5th. Today is Rihanna Taylor's birthday. I'm sure by the time you guys see this, um, things would have settled down, but we all know what happened to Rihanna Taylor. And I just wanna give her a shout out. And we are with you, girl, justice will served. Now that that's out of the way, we are going to get back into me doing my balcony. This is day two. Day two? Okay, fine. I know from the, like the last couple of clips, I need to get either battery operated lights or solar lights. So I was at Meyer, which is a grocery store out here where I am, and they actually had these for, what was it? I think $20? $20. I moved my mats on the inside because I'm not sure when I'm actually gonna get furniture for my balcony. So I didn't want the sun to damage these. So I moved them on the inside. But I ran out to the store to get another box because as you can see, it kind of cuts off. Um, but I like the way it looks so far. So hopefully in the next clip, not sure what day that's gonna be, um, I will have another step, another layer to this balcony situation. Ooh, but before I go for today, I also got this home and garden outdoor candle. It's in the fragrance lemongrass. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Is this supposed to get rid of the bugs? I don't know, but I think it's really, really cute. I don't have a table to sit on, so it'll just go on the floor. I still go to my balcony, guys, and honestly, it's it's quite the vibe. But you know, I don't have any furniture, but I do have a chair, so it, it's a vibe out there. Oh my God, I always forget that I have a YouTube channel and I should be updating you on the things that are happening in my life. Okay, so today is June. It's June. It'll be Juneteenth on Friday and today is Tuesday. So whatever day that is, it is that day. Okay, so I ran to Ikea and I picked up some furniture for my Pagia, my Pagia. And let me show you what I got. So I've been sitting here. First of all, Ikea is not the GOAT. I, listen, I can talk to you all day about my beef with Ikea, but I ended up picking up the Aparlo, the Aparlo, and I got two of these chairs that I'm gonna put together side by side so they can look like a couch. I'm currently piecing them together. Uh, I'm Bob the Builder now. Um, I have a table sitting over there, and then that's the second chair. 
And yeah, so once I get this all complete, oh, and I have some cushions. Actually, let me take you over to the cushions. All right, so I got these little cushions. They were $15 at Ikea. You know how hard it is to find cushions that actually look cute? Um, so I'm glad Ikea actually provided some. So I'm gonna just put these on the booty part of the chair. Um, yeah, so this is this is what we have. I moved um, my rugs. I moved them from inside. The la I think the last clip you saw them outside, but I didn't want the weather and the rain and stuff like the sun to ruin it. I ain't got time for that. So yeah, let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. Ooh. I promise y'all, the next time you see me, I will not be crusty. What? Let's turn the camera around. Oh, Deidre, Deidre, what are you doing with all these fake plants? Well, this is update number, I don't even know what day it is anymore for this balcony, but you guys, it's a process. So these are some plants that I got, fake plants, by the way, that I got from Hobby the Lobby. Um, this one is a little baby bush. I should've got two of these bad boys. So anyways, um, God, I wish I could insert a picture of what I want to do, the, what the idea is, but y'all will see me put these up. Either you'll see me put them up or you, you'll see them when they're put up. I don't know anymore. But I, I have like a whole project for these. And honestly, this isn't even enough. Like I feel like I'm gonna need more. And the reason why I'm doing fake plants is because I don't believe in bugs. Good morning, guys. I am not sure what day of renovation this is, but, ooh, burping. Um, but pillows that I ordered from months ago, I'm, I, I kid you not, months ago, have finally come in. They're really soft. And now I'm debating, do I put this on my couch, which I'll be getting very soon, or do I bring this outside if something tells me it doesn't match? the red flowers that I have. I have no idea when this video is even gonna go, but just know I'm getting I'm getting what I need for my rooftop. <laughs> and I think my rooftop is actually gonna be open by July. It's not a rooftop, it's a balcony. You guys already know. I've been doing this video now for month, for like the entire, I don't even know anymore. I've been doing this video for a while now and I'm tired, I'm tired. So today, so today, what I think I want to go and do is run into Home Goods because we all know Home Goods is now open. So, yeah. Um, okay. So I think in one of the last clips that I showed you guys, and I'm sorry for my squeaky chair, it squeaks, it squeaks. Um, I think one of the last things that I showed you guys was uh, these flowers. Um, so <laughs> here's the thing about these flowers. I, they have these stems on them that I thought I could just twist and hang around my railing, but now I realize I need to get planters and stuff them. So I'm, what I'm probably gonna do, this is gonna be a project that I can either show you guys or not. What I'm probably gonna have to do is take these flowers off of the stems, find a planter and just stick them in so they can hang like that. Because it was looking, it was looking really stupid and it just wasn't working. So I think that's what I'm gonna go to Home Goods to find some of those over the rail planters. And I think I'm going to, uh, I don't know, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. I really, I'm, this project, it means everything to me because I just love being out there. I like being outside on my balcony. It's just so much fun. It's, it's a vibe out there. I'm just ready for this project to be done. I really wanted to get, I really want this project to be done sooner rather than later because summer is not that long. Ow, something, I scratched myself. Summer is not that long, so I really want, I really want to do the darn thing, y'all. Like I'm ready, I'm ready to be out there. I was out there with my friends this weekend, this past weekend, or was that two weekends ago? I don't know anymore. Was that two weekends ago? I don't know anymore. Anyways, I was with my friends by the time y'all see this, it had been like a month ago. <laughs> but, um, and it was a vibe and I just, I can't wait to actually get what I want. So here's what I want. Here's, here's the final touches. I need more pillows because I think I'm gonna just keep these bad boys inside. I need some floor pillows, high key. These aren't big enough for like floor cushions. Oh! <laughs> so basically we're gonna go to Home Goods and we're gonna get the goods for this home. 
okay? All right, the projects do not stop. This project, is seems like it's never ending, but it's like we're so close to the finish line. All right, so it's super late on, what is today, the 23rd? I don't know, it's the 23rd. I want to do a quick little haul for my balcony or for whatever. Um, at this rate, I'm so tired, you guys, it's ridiculous. So let's, let's not make this any longer than it needs to be. So this, uh, everything that I'm gonna show you right now came from Ross, and I'll let you know the next place. So this is a tray. Uh, it's kind of heavy. Um, it's like a faux marble. It's not like real marble. Did I just scratch it? Or it comes scratched. Anyways, tray that I got from Ross. And this tray was $9, you guys. What a steal. Super cute. So I really want to do some Pinteresty like pictures with that. Please stay. Don't move. Then, guys, because I felt like I really needed like a floor pillow. Um, also from Ross. And I think this might have been this you guys know pillows are expensive this was $13 like what somebody's booty is going to be happy I got so finding lanterns was kind of hard I definitely wanted fake ones so I'm glad this is a fake one it's actually a solar lantern I'm sorry if my hands are ashy right now listen y'all I had to wash them when I got back in and before it gets too dark I wanted to show you so these were $12 this $12 at Ross and I think it's so cute. I think I'm gonna put it on the table or by the floor, I'm not sure. Then I got another one. This might've been five or six dollars, six dollars. And this is what it looks like. I think this is also another solar one. It came kind of open. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can one hand this. Let's see how talented your girl is. Um, like I said, another solar one, wow. I mean, do I need a candle for this one too? I thought it came with a candle. Mm, guess not. And then another glass lantern. There's my receipt. I should probably grab that. Put that over there. Um, and I gotta also get a fake candle for this and wash these off the bottom. But this was $13. And that's everything I got from Ross. So then from Dollar Tree, actually, I got, oh, okay. Oh, lots of glass. I got these little margarita glasses. I think they're really cute. I just gotta wash the tags off. Obviously a dollar from Dollar Tree. Got two of those. I don't know why I only got one of these, but I feel like I needed a masculine cup in my arsenal only because, so from Target, I got this little, I don't know what this is for, but it's gonna be cute for pictures, you know? And I wanna say this was, it's from the brand Threshold. I think this was, oh, it's a charger. Um, I think this was $10, $10 charger. And I'm not sure how any of this stuff is gonna go together, but I feel like I don't mind clashing. That, that might be my aesthetic is to clash. Um, I, I don't know if you would call this mixing print, but I actually kind of like the way this looks. You know, like, I don't know if you would consider this rustic and then with something a little bit more polished. I actually like how that looks together. So I'm sure I'll be having pictures and all types of things, you guys. My balcony is really coming together. I'm very excited. Oh, and then lastly, I do think this is worth mentioning. My good, good Judy Devin put me on to just go to the dollar store, get a dollar store broom so you can sweep, sweep, sweep. I don't even want to show you guys my balcony, but it looks, it's, it's starting to look real good. But I will show you guys that in the grand finale, which you are going to see in a couple of clips. So just, just be patient. It's coming. All right, guys, time for the grand reveal. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Okay, let's go out there. All right, guys, listen, listen. It might, may not be nothing to you, but it's everything to me, you guys. I love how it turned out. Um, do something with these pillows. So here's the thing. I don't know if I explained this, but I um, wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I even wanted goldy yellow because originally I just wanted to stick with the red color. Um, but I like how it turned out. Okay, Ikea, I see you. I see you. And this is my little prop setup. It looked way better the other day when I took pictures of it. Obviously, there's nothing in the bowl. Use your imagination. Food goes there. Um, I have these little fake plants in the corner. And then obviously the rugs that you guys saw. Uh, hopefully, I can show you guys what it looks like um, at night. Hopefully, I remember. Um, string lights 
that I got from Ikea. I actually probably like these a little bit more. One thing that I'm not really satisfied with are these little uh, lights from, don't even ask, don't even ask, don't even ask, um, are these lights from Amazon. I kind of, that, that was my first purchase and uh, I kind of wish I didn't do that. But otherwise, this is it. This is she, that's my foot. I don't know why I had to show you that. obsessed I love it out here it is such a vibe it is such a vibe I do you know since I'm working remote I have been taking my lunches out here I'll even do my work out here um, it's just very peaceful I love that <laughs> I love that I have the option to do my whole nine to five right here right here I love that this is what 30 is supposed to be right I, listen, she's not mad. She's not mad. That is all. This is my very short, small balcony tour. Um, this is exactly how I dreamt it to be. It's beautiful. You see my little flower right there, the little red situation. I got my little like, yellow pillows. I got my fake wine. <laughs> this was really fun. It was really fun. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and do all of the things that the YouTubers tell you to do. You know what those things are by now. I love this and until next time, bye guys.